Graham's got to find the court if his team's going to have a chance to score off his serve. Well, Charlie Wade, despite that difficult trip to Northridge, says the guys are in good spirits. As that ball is put down by Jared Lofi, and Lofi is a perfect three for three. And Lofi, not known to be a great attacker, he's known more for his blocking. But clearly, he's, uh, he's lighting it up right now. He's hitting 410 on the year, but only averaging a block per game. He's hitting three times that right now in his three kills already here early in set number one. Well, it's always been what the Hawaii team has needed. Somebody to take a little bit of that pressure off Stephen Hunt. And that'll open some doors, perhaps, for him. Nice job, J.P. Marks getting that ball up. And Hunt knocking it over. Opportunity for the beach. And unable to get there and chase it down is Nick Costello. And that's going to be a point. Well, that was a Long tight Beach. pass there, almost an overpass. But Connor Albright did an amazing job of going up and getting that 50-50 ball. It was half on Hawaii side, half on Long Beach. So I watched him reach up with his right hand there and put it behind him. That's some savvy play by the setter. His dad was a former All-American at UCLA. Dave, he's in the crowd. And uh, Connor also played the youth national teams, the junior national team. Uh, a teammate, actually, of Taylor Crabb on those teams. Took over the starting setter position midway through last season. Hasn't missed a beat in 2012. Averaging better than 10 assists per set. To the far side, Marks. And they're going to call up for a net violation. And Marks is saying, hey, wait a minute. It was on the follow through. I hit the ball cleanly. It was on the way down. And they said, no. They're Mostly, they're supposed to call that net only on when it hits the uh, top of the cable. If your ball, your hand hits the top of the cable. Now, when he hit the net, it's, I agree with uh, Marks on that one. Nice soft little push over the net by Harrison Carroll, and kind of caught the double block a little bit off guard. Kind of came off the elbow and then down, and unable to just field that one cleanly and keep it up in the air was Hemmerling, so point Hawaii, and we're even once again at 12. Brooks the door now in there. And a fellow Canadian along with the senior Stephen Hunt. And Sador with that familiar touch to the forehead and then the serve actually below the net. <laughs> and he makes quite the face to go with that serve. That's about all you can do is laugh about this one. He just flat out misses it. You know, he actually wasn't hitting his heater there. I'm not sure the toss was right for it. So he had to take a little bit off it, but he just took way too much off it, made very poor contact. And had to do the walk of shame over there past Charlie Wade. And that ball. Miss hit by Hunt out of. Good serve by Hemmerling. He brings a lot of senior experience to this team. They serve with the. Two-point advantage now for the 49ers. 14 serving 12. Another good serve. Hunt keeps it alive. J.P. Marks. And right into the block and putting it down. The 49ers with a point, and they take a three-point advantage. 12 to 15, our score. We'll take a break.
back at the Stan Sheriff Center. Let's take a look at the Kaiser Permanente keys to the match. For Long Beach State, I asked Andy Reid, the coach right there, what, what the key was going to be tonight. He said it's all about the passing. When they pass well and run a great offense, they are hard to beat. And for Hawaii, it's all about the back row attack. That's to give Stephen Hunt some help in the front row. And already, Harrison Carroll's got two kills out of the back, and J.P. Marks has one, three of Hawaii's 12 points. Of course, three by Lofi, so anything that they can do to take a little bit of that pressure off Hunt, will let you trailing. 15 to 12, back to serve for the beach is Hemmerling. Hammerling serves it out. J.P. Marks watching that one go a little bit wide to the right. So I've won run is over. And that was a good thing. That timeout at 15 came at a perfect time for Charlie Wade. Otherwise, he may have been forced to call on it if another point went by. A bit of an overpass west with a little joust at the net, and he's going to win that battle. Point Hawaii and the, the Warriors back within one. Holbright, the Long Beach State center, was a back row player. Then he went up with West and ended up contacting the ball, making it him an illegal back row blocker. Harrison. Harrison Carroll with another good serve. And to the far side, hammering it straight down. Surgeon Medesdi. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Well, he spells his first name S-R-D-J-A-N, but Surgeon, and he put that one down with near surgical precision. Nice play on words. Good pass by Hunt. And Marks off the block. Put up by Hemmerling to keep it alive. And then the swing off the block, Hunt in the back row for Hawaii. Marks able to get a good swing on that one, and an opportunity again for the beach. Scarrow going to set it up on the near side. Flying out of the back row is Harrison Carroll. Able to squeeze it in inside the block. Goes to Carroll, hitting from behind that three meter line, and again manages to tool the block. Unusual, because Taylor Krabs a pretty veteran blocker. He's played a lot of international volleyball and usually penetrates well over the net. It's the second time I think Carroll has, has, uh, has used him. Or we've seen over there on that side, Taylor Averill in the position of opposite at 6-7. Harrison Carroll, 6-1. But when he comes flying in, he can still put a pretty good angle on well, that ball. When Carroll gets to the front row, I think, late in this game, I think we'll see Averill come in and play in the front row for him because Averill at 6-7 poses a bigger block. Good serve by Marks. Blocked by West, but out. And that'll be a point for the beach. J.P. Marks puts some Long Beach in passing trouble there. That ball is, Taylor puts it up pretty well, but it's pushed way over to the left side of the court. Scarrow had only one play. That was to knock it over on a ball that was over the net. Firing cross court, and that ball is going to be down. Carroll just got there a smidge too late. And that's a point for Long Beach State, and now they take their biggest lead. At 18 to 15, we're going to take a timeout in set number one, Hawaii versus Long Beach State. The Warriors down three.
Look at Charlie Wade back here at the Stan Sheriff Center. And let's look at the series record sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts. As I said, a lot of history between these two teams. They see Hawaii's uh, the last time Hawaii won, and but Long Beach has dominated the series over the years. Hawaii with a 20 to 12 edge here in Honolulu. They need another one tonight. Hunt floating up there. Unable to put it down the back set. And if you can't get it on the kill, do it on the defensive side. Point Hawaii and the Long Beach State players calling for a net violation. They're not going to get it. Let's see what happens here. See if Hunt gets the net or does the ball bring the net down? Looks like Hunt might have gotten some net there and gotten away with one. He's got a little smile there. You see that? He knows he got away with one. <laughs> Good camera work there. 16 serving 18. And a big swing, another big point. For the Long Beach State 49ers. Well, the Warriors have won the last four matches of this series, including a series sweep right here in 2010. And Kind of a weird play, almost as if there was some stick -em on that ball, just kind of stuck to the hand of Sam Bascaro. JP Marks wiping his forearms right now. As he thinks he was the perpetrator of all that sweat on the ball. Well, Charlie Wade's going to call another timeout as all of a sudden Long Beach State jumps out to their biggest lead of the game and gives us an opportunity to take a look at the mid pack Petroleum leaderboard. So some pretty impressive numbers. The NCAA kill leader, Sean Sangri, the lefty from Ohio State who led them to a national championship last year, leading the way with almost five kills per set. And look at Stephen Hunt, 4.2 kills per set. Tony Cirelli from SC at four, Brad Lawson from Stanford at four, and Maurice Torres from Pepperdine. Those two, those two guys, Lawson and Torres, face each other tonight at Pepperdine. And Sanford snuck out of there with a 15-12 victory in the fifth. But Hunt, being number two in the country, that's pretty impressive, I'll tell you, because he's got two guys on him, sometimes three guys on him all the time. And I asked Andy Reid, hey, as you see Coach Reid there, right there, uh, I asked him, hey, how are you going to beat Hawaii? He says, well, I'll tell you this, we're worried about number five. <laughs> yeah, well, we hope everybody number, is. We hope number five doesn't come alive. We'll have two guys on him, you know, every chance we can. Interesting story about Andy Reid that he wears that label interim. Usually when you're an interim, you wear it for a couple of months. Well, he's been the interim coach for three years now, but for good reason. Yeah, the head coach, Alan Knight, was a very, very good coach who played at Long Beach State as the USA men's senior national team coach. And he's trying to get his team qualified for the Olympics. They're yeah, going to this... play in the Norseka games here, I think, in a month of May at Long Beach State, of all places. Yeah. They're hosting the, the North Sakas, and if they win that, they'll get, in the, get, they'll get to go to London. And then Knipe will return as head coach next year. Exactly. In the meantime, Andy Reid has been there as a 13-year assistant to Coach Knipe, so it's not like it was a difficult transition for him to assume yeah. the leadership role as the head coach. Right now, his team with its biggest lead of this first set, serving 2016. Hunt off the block, and that'll be a point for Hawaii. <laughs> Stephen Hunt got a, got a nice set from Biscaro that time. A little inside, but Stephen manages to tool off the middle blocker this time. Didn't go off the end blocker, goes off the middle blocker with lots of heat. And here comes Taylor Averill, as I told you, coming in for Harrison Carroll. Also going into the match is going to be Dominic Lyle, the freshman out of San Clemente High School in so California to serve. It's a double sub. Biscaro comes out. And he'll, and he'll be... Uh, He's got uh, Lyle setting for him. And at least with Averill in there, Long Beach State is going to have to think a little bit on how they're going to play when Hawaii has an opportunity to put it up. Marks from the back row. A little move at the net. Again, a double joust. Averill almost manages to get it down. Good play in the back row by Marks to keep that one alive. Hunt! And he is roof. Big defensive play coming up and putting that one down for Long Beach State and a big point for the 49ers. Yeah, that was a tough play. Dominic Lyle has to go a long ways to set this ball across court and it's a little bit inside. Pretty easy block for the, uh, as you saw, by Jeff Orne 
he did not have much trouble. All he had to do was stand there and go straight up because the uh, Hunt did not have much he could do with that ball. So once again, Long Beach State matching its biggest lead of this first set up by four, 21-17. Back set, Hunt. And kind of odd to see Hunt on this side of the court. And the ball put back down. And another point for the beach. And one of the rotations, Hunt plays on the right, but the rest of the time he's out on the left. And after the serve receive, he'll move out to the left. Hornade to put it up. And the serve is out to point Hawaii. And they need to string together some natural points, trailing by four here in the first set, 22 to 18. Hunt will be back to serve. And we have a baseball update, and the Hawaii Rainbow baseball team looking to snap a five-game skid up two zip early on the Aggies of UC Davis. That's good news for Mike Trapasso and his team. They need a win. So does this Warrior team in the worst of ways. Marks, not a good... Opportunity for him. Out of the back row, Hunt doesn't get a good swing on that one. And a good block at the net and a great save by McElderry to keep that one alive and then hitting it long but off the block. It looked as though Stephen Hunt watched that one go long, not realizing it was off the block. Yeah, it was high. There's a nice block up front. Good save that time by McElderry. And there's the high touch on the hands, and Hunt thought there was no touch. 23-18, biggest lead, up by five. Lofi, blocked. They set it up for Marks, he's blocked. And all of a sudden, the beach is putting up a wall and they do it again. The emphatic put down, Ryan Neal at the net. And he teamed up with Surgeon Nadazdin. Meehan known more as an offensive attacker with his 444 kill percentage, but now he's turning into quite the blocker up front. So set point for Long Beach State. 24-18, Albright to serve, and he serves it out. And so Hawaii trying to extend this first set. They've got, a string, to they've got a string together a bunch of natural points here. Not impossible, but a very rare task to accomplish. And they're not even going to string together a single point as me. And it's an end of the first set, 25 to 19. The 49ers of Long Beach State come in and take the first stanza from the Warriors. So we switch sides and we'll tee it up again. You're watching University of Hawaii Warrior Volleyball on OC Sports.
OC Sports, presented on Oceanic Time Order Cable, is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii and Kaiser Permanente. Back at the Stanley and time to play. What's wrong with this picture? At first glance, you say, hey, wait a minute, that sign's upside down, but then wait a minute. You look at the B, the E, the C, the H, it's all good, but what's wrong with that A, A? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> we got an A that's standing on its head. Yeah, there's Troy Crutchfield. It's a good shot of the Troy Crutchfield. One of the seniors that's celebrating his last weekend here at the Stan Sheriff Center. He's been mostly a, uh, you know, a scout team player. And there's his dad. I think this is the only father-son uh, duo that's ever faced each other across the net. John Crutchfield's been at, at Long Beach State forever. And he sends his son off, who, who went, by the way, to Long Beach City College before he transferred to Hawaii. His dad just wanted no part of him, huh? His, his dad just stayed there, and <laughs> Troy said, I'm going off to the islands. And now they're facing each other in the next to last night at the Stanley for Troy. Well, regardless of what happens uh, over the next couple hours here, I'm sure it'll make for some interesting dinner conversation tonight. And the first serve into the net by Mian. So point Hawaii. Well, as we said, Hawaii currently standing in 11th place in that 12-team MPSF league. They need to finish in the top eight in order to qualify for the MPSF tournament for the third consecutive season, and they got to do it by winning, pretty much winning out, but it starts right here tonight, and they find themselves trailing one game to none. Sador gets it. Great job by Costello to keep it alive, and the appreciative crowd making a little noise. And then quietly it goes off the hands of Pascaro and out. Well, this is some great defense by Hawaii right here. Good pop up by Sador. Nick Costello, the other senior, goes out and just makes an amazing save. Kept it alive. But Long Beach State wins the rally on Taylor Crabb's kill. Good pass by Sador, miss hit by West. Opportunity for the beach and the big roof. And that's the block we've been waiting to see. Nick West and Biscaro teaming up and putting that one down and doing it, it against on, Taylor Crabb. Unfortunately, it was on their own side yeah. of the net. It sneaks in inside of their arms. And Crabb gets yet another kill. And Crabb then serves it into the net. Or not Crabb, excuse me. That was Serge Nadezdin. Andy Reed says uh, is full of energy. Everybody loves him and is the hardest worker he's had in all four years. Or his last three years as a term head. Hawaii with the chance, getting that one off the block. Hunt, good job defensively by Albright for the 49ers. Hunt again off the touch to the far side. And there's the roof, Jared Lofi. Boy, Lofi really had to hustle out there because I tell you, Connor Albright, the Long Beach State center, really set this ball low and fast, but Lofi hustled out there. Biscaro put up the post it up, a good outside block, and Lofi closed. Hawaii up 3-2, Nick West back to serve it up for Hawaii. See the numbers on Lofi. Also had three kills early, so a threat offensively and defensively, and right down Broadway with the kill. Brad Hammerling looking good there. He had 11 kills last week against BYU. Went to Orange Coast College as his first two years and then transferred. He's now a fifth year senior. Crab with the serve. Hunt hammers it down. Kyle McElderry unable to do anything against that one in the senior from Canada. Doing what he does best in Hawaii up by one, four to three, back to serve will be co-captain Sam Biscaro out of Santa Barbara High School. Go, 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 go. Side, off and down. In case you just joined us, the story of the first game, Long Beach State hitting 440 to Hawaii's 171. Not good. 
You heard Charlie Wade talk in the pregame show about Northridge playing perhaps their best game of the season. Hasn't that been a theme all season long? As Stephen Hunt the teams gets rise the, the occasion to play against Hawaii. It just seems yeah. that all season long, every opponent has had one of these unbelievable, inexplicable nights where their coaches just say, we, we haven't had a night like that all year. Yeah. And yet that night for each <laughs> team has come against Hawaii. Yeah. Go figure. Hunt with the booming serve. Nearly a service ace, just firing it in back inside the antenna, his surge. Costello with a good pass. Lofi, and Lofi, Roof. It was Ryan Meehan right there to put it back down on the Hawaii side of the net. Hawaii had two chances to score in transition there, going from defense to offense, making two good digs and cannot convert on the second one. Should have converted on the first one, but Phelps just couldn't put it down. Saw that set to Lofi a little bit low. He just had to kind of slap at it. Tied at five here in the second set. Long Beach State taking the first. And another big roof. Sergeant and Ryan Meehan turning me up and putting it down. And so all of a sudden, the big block of Long Beach flexing a little bit of muscle up at the net. Five blocks by Long Beach State now. Hawaii with only one or two. Back to serve will be Connor O'Brien, a 6'4 sophomore out of Orange, California. Okay, hurt his arm a couple weeks ago, so he's only going to his floater now. He, he had a good jump serve that he used to serve. Not a good a swing by Carroll. Off the block, Costello going to set it up. Piscarro to hunt out of the back row. And then at the net, unable to handle business on that end is Brad Hemmerling in Hawaii. Earns the point. Notice Hawaii in transition that time or off the serve receive. Went to the back row attack. Something I said was a key to the match to, to attack more balls out of the back and be a little more unpredictable rather than always going to the left side to JP Marks or Stephen Hunt, but set more balls out of the back row. Brief break in the action. Nick West tying his shoe and a little bit of perspiration on the side of Long Beach State. So a little bit of an opportunity to both for both teams to catch their collective breath as you look at Andy Reid, the interim head coach, and we spoke about a few moments ago. Another good swing by Ryan Meehan in the 6-8 middle. Out of Dana Point, transferred from Pepperdine. Puts his team up by one, seven serving six. And Hemmerling back to serve. Meehan now perfect on the night, five kills in five attempts. Good serve by Hemmerling. And another big defensive play is rising up again is Kraft. And he teams up. That time, the linesman called the ball out. Ernie Ho, the up umpire, overruled because he was, I suppose, because he was closer. And the point goes for Long Beach State. Harrison Carroll can't believe it. Well, he had the best seat in the house, and he had to think that he knows what he saw. The serve is out. And Hawaii gets the point. Sometimes questionable calls like that can get a team more adrenalized and wanting to make up for that kind of a call. And so let's we'll see if Hawaii puts a little more energy into the next few points. Harrison Carroll to serve it for Hawaii. And that ball, Costello wisely pulling up. As Nadezdin hits it wide. He had a good swing at it, that's for sure. Pretty wide open line shot. He just got a little greedy. So even at eight, Carroll. The high toss. A good serve. And again, serve. Good pass by Hunt. He's got it. Sador finally goes and knocks it over the net. Wire looking a little bit out of sorts on this particular rally. And now Kraft off the block. Costello puts it up. And a good swing that time by Carroll, and it comes off the block into the antenna. That's a point for Hawaii. So a, a rally that kind of started off a little bit awkward and swell. It's a pretty good volleyball play in that rally. Sam Biscar with a nice back set to 
to uh, Carroll to end the rally, but prior to that, some pretty good blocking, digging going on. Carroll again to serve for Hawaii. And one point advantage, a big swing, and a point right down the middle for Long Beach Meehan. State, hammering it down. And once again is Ryan Meehan. Six for six is Meehan, and uh, Connor Albright really knows how to get the ball to him, even from like the eight or nine foot line. I love it when he sets the ball from off the net like that. Even at nine, Carroll. And that one is just in, inside the back line for the point, and Hawaii to double figure. Gotta give some credit to this guy, Harrison Carroll. I'm telling you, 6'1", he may be the smallest opposite in the MPSF. And night in and night out, he gives you all he has. And uh, he's got some pretty good hops to make up for the lack of size, but uh, it's gotta be tough night in and night out going against these big MPSF blocks of 6'7", 6'8", 6'9". Carroll, a junior. Proving his medal tonight for Hawaii. Grab, and he's going to be blocked at the net. For a point for Hawaii. The Scarl turned around. Point thought, for Long Beach. The Scarl turned around, and thought that he had that ball blocked straight down for a point. So Hawaii coming close, but no cigar. Even at 10 all. Hunt off the touch. No, it's not. Point. Long Beach State. Steve made it 11 10. I think Steven made the right shot, just shoot up a little bit too much line. It was the line was open. Back to serve. It's going to be Surgeon. Good serve. Hunt again. And a good block by Obright. Back to Hunt they go. This time an easy. Swing and flying in from the back row. But that swing is going to be long, and that's going to be a point for Hawaii. We're even again at 11. Yeah, Hemmerling had a pretty good swing at it. Albright, I thought, put up a nice set. But uh, I think Hemmerling saw that block there. That was really an avoidance attack, trying to avoid getting blocked. Just hit it too high. Tenth tie of the second set as we're even at 11. Crab with a soft roll shot. And another little touch over the net as Albright just tries to push it down and ends up getting the point. And Albright, just a sophomore, but Andy Reid says he plays like a senior. And he makes decisions like that to go with that little dump shot when the ball's tight, not try to make some spectacular back set or, or do something fancy. He just does that nice little soft dump. Remember, he's played a lot of international volleyball for USA and the youth national team and junior national team, so he knows how you know, to make those difficult plays at the net. Charlie Wade had said something after that last point to the uh, down referee, so they've gone to have a little conversation between themselves, and let's see if we could see anything. My, my guess is that maybe Connor Albright followed through into the cable on his, that little dump shot. Or not, I guess not. Uh, whatever the case, the score remains the same. Long Beach State up by one, 12 serving 11, and a little kind of a funky, almost looked like a missed serve, and it lands harmlessly in front of Brooke Sador for the ace. Now, Sador is in for J.P. Marks. Whenever you put a new player into that three-person passing pattern, you know, normally it's Hunt, Marks, and Costello, and all of a sudden now Marks gets pulled out, and Sador gets put in, and Sador's a nice player. He's really gonna be good as he matures here at UH. But, um, but whenever you have a new person put into that three-person formation, it throws off the chemistry. And that was a great example where Sador hesitated going for that ball, then he went for it. Crab with the hard serve this time. Hunt hammers it off the block, and that'll be a point for Hawaii. Boy, Stephen Hunt sits and hits such a hard ball. He's worth the price of admission just to see the Hunt heat. And you can see him just kind of hesitate, almost frozen in midair just for a second. He's got some pretty good hang time, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, he does. Good serve, nearly a service ace for Hawaii. And that swing is going to be out, hitting it long is Ornay. And Hawaii back even with a couple of points in a row to tie this one up at 13 all. Finally, Long Beach State offense showing some, showing some chinks in the armor. This game, they're only hitting 200 as opposed to hitting 440 in the first set. But Hawaii 
not able to take really a lot of advantage of that. They've made four errors, hitting errors themselves. And they're only hitting 105 right now. <laughs> yeah. That's not world, world breaking right there. Far side, off the block, chasing it down, keeping it alive is Biscaro. Sador, unable to put it down. And then back the other way, swinging and hitting it long is Surgeon, and that's gonna be a point for Hawaii. And the Warriors go up by one, 14-13. Another rare error from Long Beach State offense. That's a five-point run by Hawaii. Excuse me, fifth lead change of this game. It's a three-point run by Hawaii, though. Big cross-court swing. Costello keeps it alive, and that ball's going to be outside the antenna. Harrison Carroll do it, whatever he can do to keep it alive, but it was about a foot outside the antenna. What a dig by Costello. That ball's coming over so hard. No block. Costello just hangs in there and just cannot quite control it on his own side of the net. Long Beach State gets the kill. Great effort, tied again at 14. There you see the numbers for the first set. Long Beach State 440 to Hawaii's 171. This set, neither offense getting the job done or the defense just playing better, I'm not sure which. 136 and 105, those are not good numbers. In this league, you've got to be hitting, hitting at least 275, 300. There's Harrison Carroll. We talked about the fact that he's only six feet, one inches tall, but he can soar. We take a break. Hawaii up by one. Back at the Stanley, time to go inside the numbers presented by HMSA in the number five. I have service aces for Stephen Hunt on Saturday night versus Cal State Northridge. A new career high for number five for Hawaii. Five, four, five. He's done a great job this year in his serving, I'll tell you. He's uh, one of the better servers in the league, in my opinion. 22 aces thus far this year. And here he is on serve for Hawaii. The Warriors with a one-point advantage in set number two. They trail at one set to nine. Would be a good time for an ace. Doesn't get it, but a good serve. Kind of an overpass and a weird play. It just falls down on the Hawaii side. Kept alive and an opportunity now for the Warriors. Harrison Carroll on that ball just out. Again, Hawaii making some terrific digs and not able to turn them into points. Oh, was that an run. intentional Great dig right there? <laughs> was that an intentional push over the netter? Just a weird pass that wasn't contacted by the 49ers. Hard to say. They're going to Carroll a lot. This time he runs into the double block. Meehan teaming up with Hemmerling. He got 6-4 and 6-8 on that time. Carroll unable to put it between them. Pretty good block there that Carroll's facing, too. The ball a little bit inside. Carroll's. Got to do something better than hit it into the excellent block of Long Beach State. He's got to find ways to go around it, over it, tool it. Hunt out of the back row barely got a hand on that one as it was set up behind him. And then that ball 
off the touch and then lands in front of Hunt. And that's another point for the beach. They lead it by two. We have a softball score coming our way that we want to pass along. Well, we'll get to it after the break. At 17.15, Charlie Wade's going to call a timeout. We two will take a break, 17.15. Well, we talked about a softball score. Happy to report the Wahine on the road taking care of business against New Mexico State. Major Maniwata both homering in that game and Hawaii winning by mercy rule. So good for the Wahine. And at last check, the baseball bows were up against the Aggies of UC Davis behind us in Los County Stadium. We'll get you an update on that one momentarily. To the far side set, the swing by Hemmerling, unable to put it down. Back to Carroll, off the block, and Harrison Carroll gets Hawaii the point to pull back within one. Carroll now with seven kills, hitting 230. So he's getting the job done on the outside, despite being undersized. He's managing to tool the block and making some, making some pretty good decisions. But where Hawaii is struggling right now is the other outside hitter position. J.P. Marks got pulled in this game. sador has been in there, but now looks like Marks going to come back in because sador has been struggling. Both of them hitting in the negatives. So let's see if Marks can't turn it around. Good serve. Nick West with the block at the net for Hawaii. This one off the antenna. It was a tough angle for Hemmerling and unable to keep it inside. And a point for Hawaii. We're even at 17. By the way, baseball update. Hawaii continues to lead the Aggies of UC Davis 2 to nothing. That game now on the sixth inning behind us at Les Murakami how Stadium. That, how about that first serve by Marks? He just ripped it. Long Beach State put up a really good pass. Another good serve. Another good pass. By McElderry. Block at the net, Carroll. And West, again off of the hands of Carroll, but it goes sideways and out. Point for the beach. Surgeon Natazim is really coming into his own, I'll tell you. The senior who's put in a lot of a lot of tough years was a Fab 50 recruit out of high school, played in the junior national team, but only played three matches in in, uh, in 2011. But he has worked really, really hard, says Andy Reid, in his four years. And Andy's glad that he's playing his best now. Good pass by Castillo. Sador comes flying in. Is it off the block, off the touch? No, it's not. And another point for the beach. And they're up by two now, 19-17. Everybody asking for a touch. They're trying for a touch. They're trying for anything. They've got to stay close if they have a chance. They do not want to go in the locker room. Oh, two. Costello puts it up. Sador. Had a good swing at it, unable to put it down. Back to Sador again, and he goes cross court and out, and that's going to be another point for Long Beach State. And it's 20 to 17, and Charlie Wade is going to call a timeout. Now, Chris, this is kind of like the worst of all scenarios. We talked about there's no room for error. It's a must-win game, and now you find yourself down one set to none and trailing 20 to 17. 
Exactly, and, and Brooke Sonora, the, the, the freshman, is trying his best, but Charlie Wade, I'm sure, is saying something to him like, you know, Brooke, you, you just got to find ways to get the ball in the court. Don't try to hit all these avoidance shots so you don't get blocked. Go ahead and challenge the block rather than trying to go around it or over it. He's had two, his last two swings have been long, high, over the block, trying to avoid getting blocked, and the other one was uh, tight inside the block, trying to hit it inside so much that it had no chance to find the court. So he's got to really start, he'll start making better decisions as he gets older, but this experience is good for him. But um, it's, it's got to be tough for Charlie Wade right now, knowing that he normally his tough decision making as a coach is that opposite position where Averill and, and Carroll have been battling that spot. Now his tough decision is JP Marks has been struggling and, and so he's got Sador in there and my guess is he's going to put Marks back in at some point. Probably game number three. Oh, you, you see the hitting percentages. Long Beach State, not very impressive at 281, but Hawaii under 100, and you're not going to win a match, certainly with that kind of a number. And yeah, wait, know, wait, it, it's got to be very frustrating for Charlie Wade just trying to find any part that's going to work. Exactly. And Hawaii hitting 0, 0, 0 here in set number three to get eight kills, eight errors. Not good.